so first things first, I'm going to start with the drums. I tend to start with drums first, especially when I have a pretty clear idea of what the song's going to be, you know, because once I get the, uh, the drums locked in, then I could start adding the bass and, you know, things of that nature. So I'm going to go over to the uh, step buttons on the bottom of the redrum machine, and I'm just going to start clicking every other one because I just want a straight So let me finish that and play it back. Yeah, that's all right. It sounds a little lifeless, so I'm going to want to add some dynamics to it. But I'm going to move the dynamic key down to soft, and then on every other one, I'm going to press it and give it that lighter color, which is going to mean that it's playing back softer. Yeah, that's, that's much more real sounding. All right, the next thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to add the kick and the snare. Now, me personally, I play most of my drums, so, you know, like as far as the kick and the snare go, I'm just going to record those. Yeah, that's good, but uh, I think it could be tighter. So I'm going to go over to the tools menu and I'm going to quantize the kick and the snare. There we go. And uh, let me play that back. Yeah, sounds good. So now I'm going to want to copy the hi-hat pattern onto the redrum track. And new in reason four is the concept of lanes. An instrument has one track, but many lanes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the plus symbol and I'm going to add a lane. I'm going to name that lane um, hi-hat. I'm just going to abbreviate it with HH. And then I'm going to go up to the contextual menu. I'm going to select the redrum and I'm going to copy pattern to track. All right, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the enable pattern and the pattern button. And the reason why I do this is because if I don't, then the MIDI sequence data and the read drum sequencer will play back and it'll be doubled. Now I'm going to add a crash symbol and I'm going to draw that in instead. So I'm going to create a lane and draw in a clip, which is new to reason four. Yeah, let me just draw that in. And now I'm going to double click on that clip and go into edit mode. So yeah, let me pull that up a little bit and select the pencil tool. And I'm just going to draw that in. And let me get back into arrange mode by clicking on the arrange button. Now I'm going to play that back. Sounds good. In the interest of keeping things organized, I'm going to label and colorize each of these clips. So I'm going to right click on the crash symbol and I'm going to add label to clip. And I'm going to type in crash. Next thing that I'm going to do is add label to clip to the hi hats and type in hi hat. And so on and so forth. All right, now the next thing is coloring the clips. They're already blue, but I, I kind of want to differentiate each one. So I'm going to right click again. I'm going to clip color and yeah, I'm going to select red and green, my favorite color. And I'll, I'll leave the uh, kick and the snare as it is for now. In this example, I'm going to show you how I copy out the drums to make a full drum arrangement. And, you know, none of the particulars really, no fills or anything like that, but just, you know, copying them out to like 64 measures. So now I'm going to select all the clips, the crash, the hi-hat, and the kick and snare. And then I'm going to go up to edit and select copy. And then I'm going to go to the menu again, and I'm going to select paste. Okay, so I'm going to paste again, but this time I'm going to use a key combination. And on the Mac, it's Apple V. And on the PC, it's Control V. Okay, I'm going to copy again, but this time I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to drag and copy. On the Mac, it's Option, click and hold, drag. 
And on the PC, it's Control, click and drag. Okay, so I have 64 bars of drums now, and you know, that's enough to really get started on other aspects of the song. 